Well, back home in Ethiopia, a watch ceremony in Addis Ababa was led by the Deputy Prime Minister Demeke Mekanen. The satellite was developed by the China Academy of Space Technology in collaboration with 21 Ethiopian scientists and launched from China. CGTN's Coletta Wanjohi reports from Addis Ababa. History in the making for Ethiopia as it goes into space. The satellite launched in China cost over $7 million, with $6 million provided by China. China's economy has developed at a nearly double-digit growth, and there are many lessons learned. And one, an important one, is to, is to capitalize on new technologies, to ride the tide of modern technologies, like space technology, digital economy. Ethiopia says the 70 kilogram satellite is primarily for monitoring the environment and studying weather patterns. It is designed to help improve agricultural planning, provide early warnings for droughts, and assist in mining activities and forestry management. The satellite will be monitored from Ethiopia, and the control center has been set up here in Addis Ababa at the Ethiopia Satellite Observatory. Dinaol Zelalem is one of at least 10 satellite control engineers who will be monitoring it 24 hours a day. The satellite can take the photo of Ethiopian land and then that photo uh, is stored on the server. Then uh, the expert on the ground can add a value on the photo or uh, the data. Then it interpret, analyze and uh, then add a value. Then finally uh, give to the end user like uh, agricultural sector, like uh, water uh, sector, uh, like uh, the forestry. This is the third East African satellite. Kenya's was launched in 2018 and Rwanda's in September this year. In May, Ethiopia signed an agreement with China to build another one for communication and broadcast. It has also reached a deal with French space company Ariane Group to start the construction of satellite manufacturing, assembly, integration, and testing facilities. From now on, the government says space is the limit. Coletta Njohi, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.